The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners who come together delivering applied research for Australian industry. Sydney Opera House is the most iconic performing arts centre in Australia and also one of the busiest performing arts centres in the world. It's also World Heritage listed and recognised around the world as a tourist icon. We get something like 8.2 million visitors per year that visit the site. The building operates around the clock, so we'll have maybe four or five shows possibly on during the day in our different venues. There'll be rehearsals, there'll be auditions, there'll be activities going on in our commercial venues, our tours. So there's always something going on, so maintenance always has to be worked in around those activities. The stakeholder um, network we have here is unbelievable, from the performing companies, the opera, the ballet, the symphony, all of those commercial partners, the government, the neighbours, the staff, the contractors, they all need to be informed and know what's going on, so we have to coordinate all of our maintenance around that. The Opera House brings directly and indirectly about $4.6 billion of value to the Australian economy. Our journey has been since 2004. Uh, we were part of an exemplar project to see how um, business could improve their practices around a range of things, one of which was building information management. The Opera House, of course, was finished in 1973. Um, since that time, there has been a range of, I suppose, maintenance masters uh, as we kind of wander our way through, and there has been a, a large number of disparate information systems. Unless you've been here for a period of time, you don't really know where all the, I suppose, the bodies are hidden, so to speak. We've taken a bit of time out to, I suppose, explore what the various systems should be to the point in the last 18 months we've actually now committed to uh, moving into a full building information model slash management system for facilities managers. And uh, we're, we've just let a contract for that and we're in that early stages of um, pre-planning now for that. So BIM Academy were, got involved in 2013 brought on to um, essentially specify the system that was going to be put in place. So we did a load of interviews with all different Opera House staff, um, 31 in total, trying to trying to really understand what the Opera House needed and some of the issues and, and challenges they had. So the key feature uh, for us is, is the ability to link all of these different data sets into one visual medium. I guess as soon as that's, those are linked, you'll be able to retrieve information from that from that one source, if you like, which is something that the Opera House has never been able to do before. We're looking at visual analytics around heat maps, whether it's around health and safety, so understanding where some of the accidents have happened on site and the ability to then improve health and safety via this analytics or key maintenance areas, uh, so where faults have happened most. So there's some of the features that'll be sort of stage two onwards. It'll give us efficiencies in the field whilst also giving us the ability to do the knowledge transfer to the next generation of people who will look after the Opera House.